Sam Simpson, SBU basketball. Sam, team's coming off a uh, split last week here at home. Kept by Saturday's uh, two-point overtime loss to Western Oregon. Your thoughts on that battle? Uh, I thought we played well. Uh, first half, we played really well. We shot it well. Uh, we got a couple stops, and we were up 14, heading into the half, and then the second half, I don't know, we just moved it a little bit slower. A couple of guys just held the block every now and again, which made it harder to move the ball, which led to more turnovers and a lower percentage shooting. Yeah. Western's ranked third, very good team, but both games this year, uh, they've edged you in overtime. Do uh, you feel like there's just a, a paper-thin margin between these yeah, two teams? Yeah, just that paper-thin, just right there with them. Those overtime games, just we just keep getting unlucky with being 0-3 this year, but I don't know, hopefully we get to see them again in the GNAC, GNAC tournament, and then we can, we can get them. Well, you uh, contributed to uh, Saturday's game. You came in off the bench and hit both of your three-pointers. Uh, thoughts on your performance Saturday? Yeah, it was nice to finally see a couple go through. Uh, I've been struggling with my threes a little bit as of recent, so yeah, it was good to see. How big a role is a confidence play in, in outside shooting like that? Was that something you can build on? Yeah, I mean, the guys are great. They, I mean, the other day, uh, Gillies was telling me just whenever I'm open shooting, stuff like that. But once you see one go in, it just feel a lot, just feel good about the next one and, and come down. Well, uh, the team will hit the road here now for your next three games. What's going to be the key to kind of putting that overtime loss behind you and uh, uh, succeeding on the road? Coach talked a lot about sticking together because last time we lost, we lost three in a row. So if we can stick together and just keep playing D and sharing the ball, I mean, I think that will be fine. So, yeah. There's uh, still a lot of basketball left, and this team has uh, has great things on the horizon. What what do you think the ceiling is for this uh, this team? Uh, I don't know for sure. I mean, I think that every single time that at least for me coming into the game that I think we're going to win, and it even felt that way with Western Oregon because the way that we're all just so close together and we all have fun coming to the gym every single day and we work hard at it. So I think the ceiling's just as far as we can take it. I mean, I feel like we can get on a big win streak again and then just ride that into the first GNAC and hopefully the NCAAs. Well, we mentioned the upcoming three-game road trip. That game starts at Northwest Nazarene. Yeah. Uh, which is in Nampa, Idaho. Uh, yep. First, tell us where you're from. So I'm from Boise, Idaho, which is about <laughs> which is about 45 minutes away from Nampa. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going home. Sure. Will you have uh, some supporters there? Yeah, the parents will show up. Probably my sister too. So yeah, it'll be good to see them play in front of them yeah, back in Idaho. Do you approach any different playing? Uh, Somewhat close to your hometown. Yeah, or? no, not really. Every game's the same. Just got to come in there with the same mindset that we got to get it done. So, yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much, and good luck this week. Thank you.